Yeah, you think thing about Mario and you know matchups like Game and Watch is that you know on paper they seem like they could be winning or even or even or even close to winning. It's just that it's a very annoying matchup to deal with. So, you know, I'll be out of shield specifically very difficult. You know, a lot of times he's gonna be shielding a lot of your back airs, you know, aerial stuff like that. Yeah, and Mario can get juggled a little bit, and Game Watch definitely the character that is, you know, the best at juggling in the game. Uh, <laughs> he, he just keeps you above him for so long. There's going to be an eight. Almost got a nine. If he got a nine there, that would have been absurd. That's a that's a soul crusher right there, yeah. man. Just start off the game into an immediate nine. Like. Yeah, that's rough. But Anti lucking out, just getting the eight there. And one of Anti's best tools in this matchup is going to be the uh, the back air, right? Mm -hmm. Minus two on shield, super super safe. Actually, Game Watch cannot up be that move if you do it perfectly. Yeah, he, he has to really focus on keeping that spacing because in reality, that really is Mario's only real solid spacing move. So it's going to be a lot of, uh, I guess you could say a bit spammy at times, but it's his best tool that he has. So Yeah, and so far, Anti is just kind of being put in the blender. There's the bomb. That's going to take that first stock. Meister up. 72% on him, though. That's really close to kill percent for a game watch. Yeah, and that's why you love to see the, the player cams, you know, during sets, too, because you can see that Anti was visibly frustrated. You know, that's the thing. It's just that, and that can help Meister. It's just that if he noticed that he, Anti is getting a bit frustrated, he can play a lot more, you know, I guess you could say annoying. Yes. And uh, kind of really get in his head. Yeah, there's something to be said about that play style that is just like super tilting to your opponent. Yeah. Like, why not just piss your opponent off to the point where <laughs> you just win the set? You know, keep doing it if it's working. And exactly. One of the things in particular about, uh, you know, Game and Watch's forward air, dying to the bomb is really annoying. There's going to be the forward smash from Anti on uh, nice the whip punish on the, on the dash deck. Yeah, the, the real back on the forward smash really doing that. <laughs> but when you die to a forward air, it, it's tilting because it's like, I could, I had so much time. I had yeah. so much time to get out of the way, but I still didn't. Because you see him throw it out, you see it drop slowly, and then after you see it explode, you just kind of get annoyed with the fact yeah. that, you know, you, you did have time to react. But uh, you know what? 186% Mario with a decent amount of rage right now, max rage, so maybe he can get something going if he, you know, gets it up air, you know, gets it to connect to the platform and, you know, Absolutely. Let's see if he can get but something started. But that's the thing, he can't get those strings really. He has to do like up throw, up beat, or down air or something like that. I'm yeah. not sure what the optimal string is there, but it's definitely not the down throw up air. Usually at this percent it would be just straight up down throw into a whole bunch of up airs and see if he get them to connect. But the up throw just gonna take DI it off the top. Up. He yeah. was holding straight <laughs> in on that one. Yeah, definitely was not prepared for that. And that's the thing that even though they've played earlier, you know, Meister still has a whole bunch of mix-ups up his sleeve. Yeah, and really all it comes down to is you need three mix-ups per game. Yeah. And if you can do that three games in a row where you just get your opponent where they're not expecting it, then you're in a really good position, especially if you haven't shown them yet. Yeah, and especially if you take that stock with it too, because it's just it's just you know so much harder to deal with. But that's definitely not going to be stock. Good DI. Uh, you have to be a lot higher when you initiate that up to finalize that stock. Yeah, but that's really solid damn for Anti. He's more oh! than happy to take that, and he evens up the stock count. Only 23% on him. This is a pretty good position, all things considered. <laughs> F-Smash coming in super clutch, man. Honestly, it's just like, I, I feel like that's kind of like the new up smash of this game. It's just, it's such a good move. You know, the real back really allows you to, you know, get that micro spacing on point, and that sweet spot is just so deadly. Yeah, the hurt box shifting in particular is just so, so good. And yeah. In, in a space like that where you can kind of look for that two frames slash like if they recover a little bit high, you get to clip them with it. Uh, that's a really important kind of mix up. But right now, you know, Meister putting the damage back on Anti. He's looking for his way in. There's a dash attack. He's got Meister off stage, but that doesn't mean too much for Game Watch. He kind of has a jet, get out of jail, free card. Oh, there's the up smash, and yeah. that's going to take the game. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, uh, pulling the trigger on that back here a little bit too early uh, and extending his hurt box right above Meister, allowing him to get that up smash just free. Um, just. A little bit too angsty, uh, seems like he was really fiending for that comeback. And here you can see the replay on exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, right there. He just pushed into him. That's the thing, right? Like, as soon as Game & Watch does a move in front of you and then he starts to, you know, go through his recovery frame, you have to understand that you can't you can't punish that. Yeah. And Game & Watch is one of those characters that you just have to take any damage that you can get. Like, obviously, you want those big combos as Mario. You want those big, uh, you know, conversions, yeah. conversions that lead into a stock, and you want to set them off stage, be able to take advantage of that. But the thing is that Game & Watch doesn't let you do that. Yeah. And so you have to play a totally different style. You really just have to hit him wherever he lets you hit him. Exactly, yeah. So we're going to be going to Kalos here. Um, you know, I'm not too sure. I, I know the stage isn't too bad for Mario, honestly. He does have the wall jumps, you know, and if he gets a grab or, you know, an upper at the ledge, he can use that platform extension, but usually a big stage that's u that's mostly flat isn't very beneficial for Mario, so we'll see how it goes. It's interesting. So the, the thing is, is that on FD-type stages, like Kalos is, Game Watch just has such a great time juggling you because you have no escape options. Most of the time when Game Watch is putting you up in the air, you either have to take the damage or you're going to have to air dodge. Yep. And the issue with that is... 
you know, or you, you try to jump away, but no matter what, you're going to be put in the blender and you're going to be put off stage, and then Game Watch is going to be able to take advantage of that. And right now, Anti just losing that stock, the chair coming out. Meister telling him to take a seat. Yeah, it's honestly looking pretty good for Meister right now. You know, only 78%, you know, has a big stage, and he's getting this jungle going, man. <laughs> Woo! And, but just like last time, he still had about that 80-ish percent, and this is just close enough where Anti is comfortable searching for those kill options, searching for the up smash, and, you know, situations where he could try to get the forward <laughs> smash. I, you know, if I'm if I'm Anti, I'm looking to space bears, I'm looking to get Meister into a tech situation, hopefully capitalize on that, maybe get a jab lock. Yeah, maybe even something like soft hit Nair when landing, it's just that it's going to be so difficult when, you know, Meister has options like Nair and Upper. You're not going to be able to get those landing soft hit aerials to lead to a kill confirm, so... Yeah. Uh, Anti definitely struggling here, but you know, hopefully he might be able to get something started. Maybe try and catch a landing of Meisters instead. Yeah, and so far he, Anti has been doing a great job of air dodging the second bomb as Meister is falling when he does double jump forward air, forward air. Uh -huh. And then he's usually getting a punish for it. But that time, unfortunately, he was just sticking and shield. He just <laughs> forward smashes the bomb. That's going to be a punish. <laughs> he's really mad at those bombs. <laughs> hey, my, the, the bo it's tilting, dude. I'm telling you, the bomb is really annoying to get hit by. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yep. Nice grab. Gonna get the jab. Oh, oh I love the mix-up. <laughs> See, he could have just gotten the, the third jab and maybe gotten him off stage. Maybe that led to a kill. But that was like a potential, I get the kill here. This is like an easy situation for me to get a mix-up. Yeah. And there's oh. gonna be another stock for Meister. Off to a two-stock lead. And Anti taking his time on the platform, just thinking about what he's gonna do next. You know, he's got a long road ahead of him. He's gotta figure out what he's gotta do here. Yeah, he definitely has to work on, you know, try and capitalize on certain situations where he can, you know, try and finish that stock. You know, leg trapping being one, being one of them. If he can get the right read, on you know what Meister chooses, then he can finalize that stock and move on to the next one, get some combos going, and you know mount this comeback. And he's at the percent where oh the back throw would kill, and definitely you know a strong back air towards the ledge, mm -hmm. probably get pretty close. And so Meister's got to be a little bit careful. There's the back air, not even center stage even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, back air just gonna work out there for him, and uh, you know, gonna start working on trying to get a combo. You know, dare great for that kind of stuff. Anti trying to get the momentum back into his favor. Meister just on a roll. Seems like this man can't get, be stopped, but oh, there's the combos. And that time he did it frame perfect, so it seems like you can't do the down throw up air, up air. Yeah, def definitely a combo that would work. It's just that in a situation like that, he definitely wouldn't have been able to take a stock. Just takes the guaranteed percent and works with it. Yeah, and Meister in that situation. Oh, Ooh, the trade! The trade. That's going to be a stock! Okay, Yo, Anti's Meister. got a chance. <laughs> Anti, just basically like last game, the F-Smash is you know, the saving grace for him. Okay. F smashes have been huge. And for Game & Watch, a character, you know, he doesn't really have too many disjoints. The Nair is disjointed a little bit above him and, and around him. Yeah. The Turtle, of course, is disjointed. But as far as approaching from the front, uh, all he's got is that bomb. All yeah. he's got is, you know, kind of those raw bears. So that's all he can really do to you. Yeah, so if you can whiff punish with the forward smash, <laughs> that's strong. You know what I mean? Thing is, Anti has a huge comeback to me. And 175, 191%. Looking like Meister might go for the up throw again. Yeah, it's really close to the percent. It's a dash attack. If he, if he gets the grab, he oh, doesn't oh, need it. A, yeah. That's going to be 2-0 in favor of Meister. And I'm thinking now, I know Anti, he's been a character specialist for a long time. I don't know, as he, does, he doesn't have a, as deep of a character pool as he used to have, but there's definitely something in his pockets that he might be debating on picking right now. I know the snake would be a horrible matchup. It's Probably terrible. not even going to go for it. The Mario did not work out. I'm that's thinking, you know, the ZSS that's might come out. ZSS is a great. Oh. oh wait. We're seeing something you guys can't. He's uh, highlighting over a very well, specific I think they character. Heard that. I think they heard that. <laughs> character select. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be a Meta Knight pick from Anti. That's kind of nuts. Yeah, I'm surprised because he does. I don't know he does how have strong. A ZSS, yeah, is yeah. strong in this game? I don't know how much he's played ZSS I don't think he's game. played it in any major sets, but I know he plays the character. And ZSS is one of those characters that's debatably very good. But just so hard to play is yeah. really the issue. It's very annoying. A lot of Zares, a lot of side Bs. You, yeah. know, you have to force that very slow neutral and play it's that very mid very Yeah, it's very, very campy. But the, the Meta Knight, man. <laughs> Com a comfort pick for Anti. He's been searching for his Meta Knight for so long. You know <laughs> yeah, what I he mean? really has. Ever since Brawl. Oh this character man. been a staple for Anti. No way! What? Kill the top? <laughs> All right! Anti up with a quick zero to death. Maybe the <laughs> Meta Knight's the answer, dude. We were talking about how we were questioning this. We're just like, there's no way. Gets an up air, like mid percent, and just takes it all the way to the bank. But who knows this matchup, right? <laughs> and, and it seems like Game & Watch is at that weight and fall speed that it might the, just the, be ladder perfect, yeah. the ladder combo works so well. You're absolutely right. 
he gets that hit at just the right percent on Meister. Oh my god. He can take that all the way to the top and he just charges F Smash <laughs> again. But that's the thing, F Smash is super, super safe for Meta Knight. Yeah. Meta Knight's F Smash has like almost no and like very similar to a lot of, you know, Meister uh, Game Watch's <laughs> Smash attacks. So, you know. Wait, I'm going to play just, your game and beat yeah, you at it. <laughs> Meister charges up Smash on one side and uh, Anti charges F Smash on the other. <laughs> but, yeah, it's actually looking really good for Anti right now. He's been doing a very good job of, you know, establishing a very solid neutral, you know, getting his pokes in and. You know, getting those really good combos. Oh, he actually almost got that again. Yeah. Oh, there's going to be the turtle. Not enough just yet. Okay, so I'm going to get back to the ledge. Okay, I'm liking oh. the uh, surviving just barely, though. Yeah, Meister kind of choked a little bit on the follow-up on that. He, like, didn't react in time. He thought he was going to do something a little bit safer. It's, it's, it's weird. When a good player does something bad in front of you, you're just like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's going for a lot of these bombs because he knows it's going to kill. He threw out about 47 of them. Yeah, and the first <laughs> bomb whittled the shield down just enough so that yeah. it would poke through. And Anti, again, had been spot dodging in the past. Now he's just kind of missing those. And what looked like an... Oh, he's dead? No way. He did dude. exactly... Meister, look at Meister. <laughs> he's surprised, dude. He did exactly in, what Anti did to him the first no time. In no world does up air ever kill. <laughs> in no world does Game Watch's up air kill. Is that Mega Man or? <laughs> that was absurd. And there's the up, up oh air and the up and Anti evening this up. You know, he started with a zero to death right in the beginning, and now we've got a one stock game. If he can replicate that same magic yeah. that he had in the first stock, then looks like he might not be able to get a chance. Meister going to town again. Oh, he's got oh a get nine. a nine. <laughs> just testing it out. Just testing it out. Now he's going to throw out another hammer just to, you know, cycle through because you can't get the same number twice, I don't believe. No way, unless you're narrow. Okay. Going to go for the upright. And the thing really that, though, uh, you know, just the up B end. You know, what started off as a really slow set has become probably the most exciting game I've seen in a while. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, and the, it's all a product of the Meta Knight pick, right? Like, Meta Knight gets to whiff punish Game & Watch a lot stronger than Mario does. You know, mm -hmm. he has that fast dash speed. The dash attack comes out really quick. Yep. He's got combo game out of it as well. So every time he wins an interaction, he actually gets to get some percent off of it. He might have been able to kill him off of that, but I don't think he was prepared to actually land that there. Yeah. The thing is that, you know, Anti, throughout this entire side, he's been working at, you know, closing that deficit. He's been working from behind every single time. And, you know, maybe he might not be able to... He wasn't able to do it before, but he might be able to do it this time. Okay. <gasps> he really hates those bombs. <laughs> yeah, man, and the bomb was perfect because it punishes if he misses, and if he hits, then it extends the hitbox long enough that he can get that punch. And oh, there's the chair. Meister but... once again telling Anti to take a seat. This is my 3-0. This is yeah. my set. I'm moving on to the top 16. Yeah, man.